YouTube, Summer Foresight here again. And this is my pick of the week. Wiggle Pig! Today I'm going to be talking about the Nintendo game Karate Kid. You don't want to miss this. Stick around. Yeah! Now this is a story all about how a dojo got me first turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute just to stop and sing how I became the Karate Kid of a town called Beijing. Michigan, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing and relaxing, all cool, all shooting up some b-ball outside the school. When a couple of guys up to no good, they started making trouble in the neighborhood. I got a one little bite, and my mom got scared. She's taking a look at what I'm I hung out Hanging coats all day and sweeping with the broom. I'm learning ninja skills, merge with kung fu. If anything, I'm gonna whoop some boot. Hey, I'm Jaden Smith. I got my hair and some braids. The Karate Kid Part 1, 1984. The Karate Kid Part 2, 1986. The Karate Kid Part 3, 1989. The Karate Kid Part 4, the next Karate Kid came out in 1994. When I was a kid, there was absolutely nothing like Karate Kid. We used to dress up like ninjas, man, trying to do the crane, because everybody knows that the baddest kick of all time was the crane. If you don't know that, you're missing out. I used to spend hours at a time dreaming that I was Ralph Macchio. Wait, that's not the right Ralph. Still the wrong Ralph. Now that's more like it. Daniel LaRusso. So there's a kid from Jersey that's getting beat up by a bunch of bullies. It's kind of like a Rocky story, so we all loved it. Stacy's gonna die and it's night time. And guess who shows up to save him? Mr. Miyagi. And he was like the greatest sensei ever besides like Master Splinter and the Turtles. Get to the stinking game! Okay, so this Nintendo game was published by LGN, and it was developed by the Japanese company Atlas Co.ltd. It's an action platform game based on part one of Karate Kid and part two. So here we are in level one of the All Valley Karate Tournament. And if you ever watched part one of Karate Kid, you realize like this is the climax of the movie, and this is kind of where this is taking place here. Now, let me just go ahead and say this game has four levels. All right, and I played this game like crazy trying to beat it. Can I tell you that this is one of the hardest games I've ever played on Nintendo? Okay, I'm going to show you what I mean. Everything that you do on this game is all about timing. If you want to beat any level on this game, you've got to learn how to time your kicks. Notice when each person comes at me, I wait for them and then do a kick. In each of these levels, you can pick up a letter C and you can pick up a letter D. C stands for crane kick. And once you get that C, you can do the crane kick, as you see here. D stands for drum punches. So here we are in Okinawa, level two. We are fighting, we are trying to get past up. And once again, we are crane kicking, we are drum punching, we are just doing everything we can do to get by. Here's the other thing I don't like about this game. The up button makes you jump. Now you may be out there going, oh, that's pretty normal sound before sight. Not for me, I rather really hit a B or an A button to jump. It just makes it very awkward to have to hit the up button and hit the over button to jump over little holes in the ground. I died numerous, numerous, numerous times on this game. Some cool things about this game. Different rooms lead to different things in the game. Notice here we're trying to dodge a hammer. Good luck with that. If you don't jump just at the right time, boom, it's gonna hit you in the water you go. Here's another challenge for Daniel, trying to break some ice. You better chop that thing hard. And here's probably my personal favorite of the game because I love this in the movie. Here's Daniel with the chopsticks trying to catch flies. Everybody remember Mr. Miyagi and Mr. Han doing that? Pretty sweet. If you guys remember Karate Kid, the typhoon is coming and it's like everybody is freaking out. We're going to die. Well, this is kind of what this is based to here. The wind is actually moving you backward, which I think is kind of funny because it kind of makes Karate Kid look like he's moonwalking. Just saying. Things you gotta watch out for, birds in the air, some weird stick thing, could be nunchucks. I don't know exactly what that is, but it will take you out. As you can see, the people just don't let up from the front, from the back, they're kicking you, they're fighting you, everybody's trying to beat you down. And all you got on this whole game is four levels. It's killing me. It drives me crazy on this game. One guy comes from this direction, one comes from that direction. If you get trapped, you can't even move and boom, you're dead. Good luck trying to beat this game. Look, I'm not going to tell you how this game ends at level 4, but the word on the street is that the actual ending of the game is not that exciting. Actually, it's a huge letdown. What? Speaking of huge letdowns, Karate Kid Part 4 starring Hilary Swank. Don't buy it. But I'm not hating on all the female actors in Karate Kid, because let me tell you why. Elizabeth Shue. 
montage, Back to the Future 2, Back to the Future 3, Adventures in Babysitting. Ain't nobody gonna get out of here today saying the blues. Elizabeth Shue played Allie, and she was like Daniel's girlfriend. I mean, he was in love with that girl. Let's have a look at them. I mean, they even had a picture made together. <laughs> that is the wrong Elizabeth. I'm so sorry to tell you. Here's a quick question for you. Why did that one guy in the Karate Kid look so much like Steven Seagal to me with that sleek black hair he had? Let's look at Steven Seagal now. That dude was also in like another movie called Vampires. And it seemed like he kind of really looked like Peter Steele from Top of Negative. Yep. Fast forward. So here I am in my 30s and I made a brand new Karate Kid with Jaden Smith. But I have a huge confession to make. I liked it. Look, say what you want. Will Smith's his dad and he beat up some aliens in Independence Day. Plus he's on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air as you called in the intro. I'm a huge fan of that. Honestly, Will Smith can do no wrong for me. And that would include having a son named Jaden or a daughter that sang a song like I went my hand back and forth, which I also like. Or having a wife that was fronting a metal band, Jada Pickett Smith. That's a true story. Mm, I like the Karate Kid because it's Will Smith's son. That's kind of jacked up, but it's true. Now, all my retro buddies just made fun of me. The new one had Jackie Chan as his sensei instead of Mr. Miyagi, which is still kind of cool because Jackie Chan is really awesome and he had a chopstick part. Yeah. Once again, Jaden's getting beat up. Like we saw Will Smith getting beat up. Daniel Russo's getting beat up. Rocky got beat up. Everybody got beat up. But at the end, they always come back to whoop some tail up in that thing. Everybody keeps winning in the end. It's like a truth. It's like if you get beat up the first half of the movie, it's guaranteed you're going to win the rest of it. You're going to win the movie. Well, I didn't like the ending of it. Because to me, the biggest part of the old movies is the fact that he did the crane kick. And as kids, we all try to do the crane, but we weren't that good at it. We all failed, but we could never do it. But here's the deal. They just let Jaden Smith do some sort of weird backflip kick. Although it was cool, it was just kind of post-matrixy. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no Keanu Reeves moment. However, with that being said, I really did enjoy the movie. Spoiler alert. Jaden Smith and Jackie Chan are on their way back for part two of Karate Kid. However, at this point, can't we honestly say that it would be like part six of Karate Kid? I mean, this is like Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees, man. This is like some old horror movies. This, this just keeps coming back over and over and over. I mean, you just can't hold them down. It's like if you get beat up by Cobra Kai, it's like one day in your life you're going to show up like fighting again because those dudes was wearing skeleton suits and, and everything. They was chasing Daniel, and I don't know. And anyway, I'm over that. What did we learn? There's a ton of karate kids. I don't like the one with Hilary Swank. I do like the one with Jaden Smith. I'm pretty pumped about the new one. The video game is the hardest video game I've ever played on Nintendo thus far, and I almost broke my controller. That's a true story. I can't remember what else we learned. I'll have to rewatch the video. Okay, here's a question for you. Who is your favorite sensei? Is it Mr. Miyagi or is it Mr. Han? Miyagi, Han, Miyagi, Han. Pick your favorite and put it in some ninja skills in the comment section below. Thanks, I'm Sam Forsyth, and this has been my pick of the week. I hope you had a really good time hanging out with me today. Now look, this is my subscribe button. Other people are clicking it. You should click it too. You know what? If you click my subscribe button, I'll probably come in and click your subscribe button on your channel. Seriously. Thank you guys so much for everything you guys are doing lately, networking, hanging out on my channel. I really appreciate you guys. I hope you have a great day.